Oh. Don't accidentally do that. Oh, what are this chicken? <laughs> wow. All right, lots of zombies back here, so let's be careful. Get them all down. So let's go one, two, and power. Yeah, there we go. And welcome everybody to Jack of All Trades, day number three. The uh, early morning start here. I gotta get uh, I gotta get some more uh, mechanical parts for the workbench. We got everything we need except for mechanical parts. We need twenty of them, and we're gonna sacrifice this wrench and we're gonna sacrifice the uh, the hammer. Um, I'm willing to bet I'm going to be able to find another one here soon. Um, I think today we'll arbitrarily go to these working stiff buildings and clear them out on our own. That way, if we do get them for a job, we could double loot them technically if we do them first. So let me finish this up and get the mechanical parts we need and get the day started. All right, there's the four o'clock chime and there is what we need. Workbench is in progress. Uh, we're gonna go back to the base here and place it down once it is done being completed. Well, we're waiting for that. Uh, we might as well start getting some iron arrowheads going. I initially started off getting the, the forged iron because we needed that for the workbench, but, uh, but there we go. We'll get some iron arrowheads going and we had some upstairs, didn't we? I believe we did. We at least found like four or something. I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't a lot. Yeah, four. Uh, do we have any leftover iron up here? No. So what we're gonna have to remember to start getting some iron too. We'll we'll take some time to do some mining. Um, probably tomorrow on day four. Okay, iron arrows. Wait, I can only make two. What am I? Mi oh, I'm missing wood. Eh. There we go. Okay, just so we have, yeah, 30 to start with. Uh, let's move the Molotovs. We're going to save those for the Horde Knight. Uh, okay, what else can we put away? Okay, and there's the workbench. I'm going to place it over here. Rock and roll. And put those back. Now we got some arrows. We'll use up the stone arrows. And uh, that'll, uh, that'll be nice. Let's actually just... Let that burn out. Take the rest of those with us. Let's go. Oh my goodness. It's as if I did a whole dedicated thing to getting pretty decent at using bows in this game. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I can't get too arrogant because sometimes I really don't make those shots. But, but when I make them, oh howdy do I show them off. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. So, uh, with this buried supplies, it gets us a chance to explore a little bit more out this way, uh, out to the east. Oh, and... Oh, come on. You were just gonna sit down and relax? Oh, well. <laughs> we could let a few of them get away. Uh, but yeah, uh, like I said, this gets us a chance to explore a little bit more to the east and check out some of the stuff we're missing. Ooh. A little point blank spear throwing there. Another 200 meters that way. That's not bad. We got a couple more zombies to fight here in the meantime. Let's juke him. Do that. Actually, it's power swing. Oh, but the problem with power swings is it eats up your stamina. There we go. Can we put the serrated blade in the the sledge? I don't. I don't think we can. We, oh, we can. No, no, no. Oh, it was remaining blinking probably because of how I was switching things. Uh, let, let's put back in the knife. Um, I have a feeling I'm not going to be using spears much longer here. Hey, what what are you doing up there? <laughs> My goodness, dude. <laughs> little perch. That, that ruined your early morning. Oh, it's a, it's a decent view. I'm sorry, fella. <laughs> Okay, coming up on the spot here. I'm going to walk and regen my stamina. Stamina is regened. Okay. So, we got a buried supplies, which means uh, we could get zombies uh, 
come to us. We might, might get some food while we're here too, uh, like like whatever's in the stash. Uh, so there we go, level three. We got stones to repair it if and when needed. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, first circle ring, and uh, we got just a zombie bow. Oh, we just used up our last stone arrow. I almost screwed that up. Oh, let's actually use the sledge. Oh, misty blood sprayed all over me. <sighs> Messy. Look at that, we found it. There it is, there it is. All right, let's get going. Uh, nice coffee seed recipe. Um, I'm gonna eat these before we start this inevitable zombie attack fight. All right, what do we got? Three zombies, I think? Yeah, we'll finish her off. And power swing him. And we got enough for power swing on him. Sweet deal. Might as well try to get get some more XP. I just missed him though. There we go, right in the back hip. It's kind of a, a mean shot. Can I get my arrow back though? Nope. Other arrows are probably in the grass over there. All right, let's head back. Yeah, I'm gonna stop and get some uh, iron first. We'll check that stump in a moment as well. Um, not that I'm gonna start an iron mine here, but I figured just why not go ahead and grab the first kind of top portion of this. Okay, so that took forever. But uh, that's all right, that's what we need to do once in a while here. We gotta get some of these extra things. Uh, let's let the stamina rebuild a little bit. There we go. Um, no honey. That's a big, big bummer. Uh, feathers. Okay, so we're back to Trader Joel's. Uh, I wanted to get the uh, the chrysanthemum since I put money and money, wow, points into uh, cooking. Let us visit for a while. I can't visit for a while, but ooh, helmet light mod. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, let's see your inventory. Is there anything I need to sell? Yes, dollars. There we go. Uh, restock day is tomorrow, so we do need to decide today if we want to get anything else here. Uh, we only have 800 dukes on us right now, so... I mean, that would be cool to get, like, this tuna fish gravy toast, uh... <laughs> tuna fish gravy toast recipe uh, as another food item, but, uh, 2400 dukes is, uh, uh quite a bit to spend right now. There. Do you have any jobs? Um, let's go I've next door. It's Fast really food's good for getting um, actual food. Let's put the light in. I see the light. Okay, but uh, not only did I get the chrysanthemums, I got a bunch of cotton because I'm actually going to make a puffer coat. First time, uh, we need more cloth fragments. Though. Do you have any cloth fragments for sale? Uh, type it. I've got padded, padded, padded armor we could scrap for it. If I make that puffer coat, basically that gives me a chance to put that double pocket mod on there. And I'm just wanting to kind of hurry up on that. So, uh, this fast food's right next door here. Let's actually drop off stuff first and then we'll go to it. Oh, goody. Uh, so I was like, I was thinking like, wait a minute, do we have a water source anywhere? And I was looking on the map and I just saw this one. Oh, there's not much left of it. But, uh, if you look on the map, there's a little bit, there's another ditch over there. So at least by the trader, we can get some water if we need it there. All right, now we head back. Oh, we still need five more cloth fragments. And there was, there was no curtains in this place, was there? Bummer. Okay, we're going to have to make that um, on the go, I think. Uh, so let's stack what we could stack. Um, drink a thing of water. And I'll put our extra jar there. Um, let's put the arrowheads away. We got to remember they're there. So we need to keep this on us. Not that. 
this on us. Actually, no, let's keep the axe. Our first repair kit we're going to use uh, uh, on the stone axe there, or the pickaxe. Uh, what's puffer coat again? Sewing kit, so I just put those away, didn't I? Yes. All right, that way we'll make them uh, while we're out and about doing our thing. Let's drop off the iron we made and split it in half. Smelt some of it. Just realized it too, we could do some boiled meats for now. It's not much when it comes to uh, the foods that it gives you, but uh, it's at least decent. Uh, put the meat away, put it away. Okay, so Prowl and Pete's. The, um, I don't know why I, I think of this as, uh, not a fast food place. Like, I thought before, like, it was a bank or some kind of a business, uh, um, I don't know what I was thinking. But for some reason, I don't think of it as a fast food place by the name. Now, you go inside, obviously, there's, you know, <laughs> it's different. But yeah, just for whatever reason, I, I, I just think of it as, uh, something other than... Uh, zombie on the other side. We could let him do his thing. Uh, let's get the arrow back. Is there anything cloth worthy here? Oh, finding some seeds. That's awesome. Alright, so the funny thing is is reset this and there he is down there. Okay. I was like, usually there's another zombie that appears. Okay, got our arrow back. Hey, Bo, what do you know? In your face. Alright, duffel bag. Hey, another bandage. I'll take it. Duffel bag? Give us cloth? Yes, indeed. Okay, so pretty decent uh, and basic loot here starting out. I'll take it. Uh, how about the purse? Will the purse give me cloth? That, indeed. Alright, puffer coat. In progress. Go ahead and eat this charred meat. Now, the funny thing is, is when the puffer coat's done, we won't have the double pocket mod on us. It's back at home, but that's that's all right. Uh, we'll have it for when it's ready. Sounds like home slice got through. Yep. Just enough for him to hop over. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Let's see, who else we got here? Glancing blow, got a little damage on Egger, on Mo. Mo and Bo. I love it. Jander's clo uh, closet. Jander's cart. Uh, not much in it, but I think later on we'll be able to get the bottle acids. I don't think we ever did find out with that one perk we were looking at before. Um, if we were supposed to wrench apart the uh, green acid barrels for... Um, for or toxic barrels for the um, whatchamacallits. Barware mod schematic. I don't know if we'll ever make that, but um, always good to have just in case. But yeah, so uh, trying to figure out, like, we, we had got the perk for being able to harvest the acid, but, like, what what is the harvestability? Uh, ooh, got our first dog food. Uh, again, I'm going to scrap. Oh, no room in queue? Okay. But we'll scrap the bolts. Not going to worry about crossbows this series, I think. Um, unless we, we get to a, a point where we're jack-of-all-trades. We're wanting to kind of switch it up. So maybe I will take that back, and that'll be handy during a, a stealth run or something. Always a crawler here. Dead. All right, so yeah, if done right, you can get the uh, bird and the guy here without them being aggroed. There we go. Heard the click, so we are now done. Is there an arrow to be had here? There it is. Okay, open up this and be on our way. Uh, oh, there's some armor. There's a mod we can put on our uh, 
on our, um, whatchamacallit, let's put that on. That and that. Yep, okay, let's just put it on. Can we eat that? Yes, okay, so another another uh, risky uh, sandwich roulette there, but uh, we pulled it off. For those that don't know what I mean by sandwich roulette, you know, you have a chance of dysentery when you eat sandwiches. So I'm saying it's part of the roulette that you could uh, you could or could not get the the dysentery. So therefore, I'm just um, oh, let's get rid of the stone axe. I think we're I think it's time. But yeah, so that's why I'm doing it. I'm sure most people got that, but just in case somebody didn't, I'm explaining it. All right, we've condensed some of this stuff. Oh, look at that. There's cloth right here. Awnings. Who's that knocking at my door? And he bleeds out. Cool. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and destroy the spear. We're going to move the um, some of the stuff over. Put that down there. Awesome. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Um, let's drop off stuff. Actually, before we go to the trader, let's do these working stiff tool places. Uh, scrap. Joel, buddy. Let us speak. You did it. Let us Great speak. Job, All right. Butler. Let's get some more pipe bombs complete. Um, is there anything else we want to sell right now? Sell this rifle, that's fine. What are we up to? 1700 Dukes? Uh, I think that'll be good for now. God, you know, again, there's just nothing really imperative we need. I, I, I don't need that recipe right away. I, that, oh, wait. AK-47. There's no way we can make 3,000 Dukes. You know what we could do? You know what we could do uh, is we could try to get somehow, some way. 6,000 dukes uh, by doing those working stiff tool places. Uh, let's get a new job, though, first. Uh, clear zombies. I'm in trouble. I can't think yeah. you we'll, um, we'll do that tomorrow, but uh, let's see if... It's 1530 hours. Let's see if we can clear both those working stiff tool places. Okay, so this one might actually be higher level than we really want to do right now, but I'm going to risk it. Proverbial biscuit. Aha. Uh, we got cash register here. Cool. Little by little, we'll get some more of that, uh, that Duke, uh, the Dukes we want to get. And again, 200 Dukes. All right. It's this guy. It's this guy. And with the loot drop, oh, he's got some armor for us. Oh, what did we do with that other armor? Shoot. Did I put it on? Yes, we did. Okay, scrap gloves. So I'm going to go ahead and break it to the end loot first, or semi-end loot. Usually there's a zombie in here, though. Or usually it aggros. I don't know. I'll, I'll take it, though, if they're not going to aggro. Some frames, that's it. <laughs> oh, we got our first blue die. Da da dee, da da die. Scrap for cloth. T shirt, modify, blue die. What we got up here? There we go. Oh, buddy. That, that looked like it hurt. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's another level. Um, scrap some of this stuff. We're gonna be able to make nails and pipes now if we want. Scrap and condense. Um, got a zombie breaking in somewhere, but we got a point to spend. And I'm gonna put it into salvage operations. That way we can uh, make our own wrenches now. All right, lots of zombies back here, so let's be careful. Get him while he's down. Get her, get, nope, stamina, and door. All right. 
And now. There we go. Oh! Stamina. Oh my goodness. Do I have a. I, does it say I have a concussion? I do. I hate to use the pain med already, but. We'll be finding more, I'm sure. Another zombie there. Get them all these down. Ooh, right in the butt talks. So it's saying I'm thirsty, so let's remedy that. Oh, we might as well use some yucca juice. Have to nerd pull up to get this box up here. Same thing with another box on the other side. All right, bottle acids finally. Game's giving us more. Uh, um. More repair kits, which makes me happy because this early game, you know, doing the repair on these level two axes and pickaxes can be uh, a bit ta tasking on your uh, resources. Okay, nothing really big as far as loot goes in those. I was really hoping for more, but we're, we're low level. I mean, our loot stage is what? 17. <laughs> so... Uh, not really much going to show up. Now, what would be cool is if we found, like, a level 1 auger. I would not complain about that. Um, so, let's scrap some of this. Eat this. Drop that. Scrap that. Okay, usually a couple zombies here. Yep, yellow shirt guy over here. Let's get a sneak on him. Might wake up the other one, though, over here. There, she, there he is. Cool. Get our thing back. It's also a dog on the other side, usually. Okay, we got one arrow back. Yep, there's the doggy. Get that long range on him here in a moment. There we go. For whatever reason, the headshots weren't counting, so I had to go for the body. Always a bookshelf here. Oh, knife we already know because of hunting. All right, let's leave that. How are we doing for time? It's almost 1900. Oh, this isn't the spot I want to drop. The uh, other corner. Yeah, we should get get this candle though, shouldn't we? Well, how about should? Uh, let's drink the golden rod. Drop the stones. There we go. 1900 crickets are starting. I hear another person outside. See if we can knock these guys out. There's a one. There's a two. And there's a three. Okay, we broke three lockpicks getting into this. Oh. Wait. Oh, no. Yeah, we already finished the book series because we bought the last book. <laughs> Knuckle wraps, though. Ooh, level three ones, too. Could have fun with that. Sure, why not? Um, but then... Oh, man. Oh, and we can't get everything. Can't heal up to use up that last one. What are we going to sacrifice here? What's going on? Uh, the cotton. <laughs> it's a bold strategy, cotton. Let's see if it plays out. Um, I think we've got enough seeds to start with. So, there we go. One more spot, though, however. And that's over here. Oh. Until I accidentally do that. Oh, look at this chicken. <laughs> wow. Okay, problem is, is we can't even harvest the chicken because we don't have uh, room for him. Oh! How'd you get... How'd you get up there? Did, oh, did you actually go up the, the ladder in the back? Good for you. Um, okay, let's drop off stuff and let's come back. And hopefully that chicken will still be there and not despawned. Oh, did we make it? Did we make it? Yeah, look at that. All right, so.
There you go. A little homage to my Twitch stream, uh, the fire truck uh, action there. I know it's what you guys always look forward to. Look forward to that fire truck action. <laughs> uh, Alright, so again, let's try this one more time to get to the uh, the last little pile. It's just going to be like a loot pile and a zombie, but yeah, I, I just I want to get to it. And there he is. Guy in the Egger suit. Zombie Mo. Uh oh, stamina. There we go. <laughs> Ammo pile. There we go. Hey, nine, 19762 rounds is is better than none, right? Um, oh, also some grill here. Grill action. Okay, so uh, very obviously we are not going to be able to uh, knock out the other working stiff tools. It's almost 2100. So we'll try that one tomorrow along with the uh, the clear areas quest we have over yonder. Uh, what can we do here uh, to fix up our and help our place, though, in the last hour of game? Let's see what we got. Okay, so now we can at least put on the um, the other pocket mod. There we go. Rock and roll. Um, so now all we need is the triple armor mods on the armor. So yeah, one, two, three, four armors, right? Three, six, four nine and 12 so that's where that evenly matches up if you guys are looking to do that without spending points into pack meal however this is jack of all trades and we will have to put points into pack meal eventually so that we can move on to level two uh, so everything has to have at least one point in it um, at least one point and only one point before we can start moving on to perception two strength two and so on and so forth um do we have visitors? Wandering horde breakthrough? Yeah, look at that. A couple of them are moving fast, uh, but I think it's just the the dog, uh, the dog, the jog. Um, I truthfully have been recording three of these episodes in a row, one day one, two, and three. So um, whoop, there we go. I forgot the the knuckle wraps. So um, I haven't checked the settings yet since I started recording to see what the uh, situation is on the settings. But I think it's very obvious that I have Jog on, uh, which is fine. Uh, but the I do know that the level is default. It's Adventure. All right. Get some damage in there. What's our points? We have no points to spend. Uh, let's call them over with a loud boom. Maybe. Yep, all right. Any of them stuck over there still? No? Oh, I have no stone to repair, so let's go one, two, and power. Yeah, there we go. I think that's probably all of them anyways. And power. There it is. One and power. One, two, and power. One, two, and... Oh! <laughs> the knuckle wraps are already broken. Uh, so here we go. Let's uh, line them up. And line them up. Our knife is in the number seven slot. So let's just finish her off. Okay. Well, that helped us uh, <laughs> at least boost up a little bit. No other zombies heard the shotgun sh challenge. Let's reload just in case. Uh, we got 10 shotgun shells, so that's decent, I think. Awesome sauce. And here comes the nighttime sound. There is that. I knew, I knew there was another uh, um, uh, pain med in there. Uh, okay, so let's uh, again add to the stack. Can you not stack the wheels? You could. Weird. It, it wouldn't uh, move it over, though. Oh, wait, no, it was locked in this. 13, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, that's why. Okie dokie. Um, let's move all of that. Let's put the uh, iron back down here. Uh, let's split it up. Yeah, just a little bit of wood in there. Um, I'm going to get some more forged iron going. Awesome. Okay, and we were able to get um, some boiled boi boiled meats going. 
Uh, so now I'm going to switch that over. Actually, we could now do the red teas because I put one point into cooking, right? Um, where's the Chris Anthems? There they are. Red tea just has more benefits to it. Although I probably didn't need to make that many, but um, we'll we'll get some uh, water from the boiled meats. That's uh, ten water and ten food. So that's decent for starting out. And if we really need the good stuff, we can get more out of the um, um, out of the red tea or antioxidants or whatever. Okay, let's switch that over because we do want to get more clay going in there. Hot damn. Uh, I was thinking like I could um, I could like have some fun like putting like a underground mine entrance down here if I wanted to, to get a basic mine going uh, just to get stone and and not really like for any other reason uh, but we'll see how that goes as we progress a little bit uh, further into the series so there you have it there is day three uh, thanks everybody for stopping on by and checking out the series uh, we've been having a lot of fun putting this together and I really appreciate you guys uh, who had uh, commented on me uh, when I mentioned that I'm going to probably do this series uh, some of you guys are saying heck yeah so <laughs> I really appreciate that enthusiasm and the support that we're getting so far uh, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell notification to get notified every time I post new videos. Um, if you like the video or don't like the video, press the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Uh, that way we uh, get that algorithmic uh, interaction. <laughs> uh, but I'd really love to hear from you. I'd like to hear down in the comments below what you think about this uh, type of series. What uh, the rule limitations do uh, as far as you can't level up anything too fast, right? Jack of all trades, but master of none. So we can't level up too fast in this unless we get some book learning, right? So I look forward to seeing how that's going. Uh, but last but not least, uh, a big thank you to the supporters that made this episode possible. Uh, to the GSB5K supporters, that is. Uh, so anybody that has uh, signed up on my Patreon for as little as $1 a month, has uh, bought some merch, did a direct donation, or is a Twitch subscriber... And eventually, when this channel hits 1,000 subscribers, we will try to get memberships going, and that will be a possibility to join the GSB 5K program that way as well. So all the GSB 5K program supporters, it's thanks to all of those folks for making these episodes possible. Really appreciate each and every one of you, and I appreciate everybody that's checking out my videos. Thanks again to everybody for stopping on by, and as always, we'll see you on the next adventure. Alrighty, bye-bye.